guys, so today's video is going to be showing you how I edit my videos. Now disclaimer, this is a very short, simple, just grazing the surface style video of editing. If you want to get more in depth and learn more tips and tricks on editing, go watch some YouTube videos. I will link some good tutorial videos down below that go more in depth than I am going. I am just showing you a very bare bones way that I edit my videos. So I go in and use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. You can also use iMovie, which is free on Macs. So once Premiere Pro opens up, you want to select a new project and I'm showing y'all how I edited my 1940s tutorial. So once you put that in there, this is what pops up on your screen. There are four different windows starting out in Premiere Pro. So after you find your four different windows, you go find the media that you want to upload. So I'm going to my SD card, finding the right folder, Alyssa. There you go. So I'm going to select these four videos and drag and drop them back to Premiere Pro. And then I'm also going back to my um, recent folder. You can see I have a lot of random stuff in my computer right now. But I'm grabbing my intro video, my exiting thumbnail, as well as the music that I have already downloaded for this video. And then once you're done with that, to start looking at the video pieces that you want to edit, you drag and drop up to the far left window. And there goes my video. So, in order to select which clips of the video that you want to drag and put in your video, you select I for in and O for out. So, at the very beginning, I selected I and that started out the video process. And then when I ended at a place that I wanted to clip and edit out, I hit O and then I dragged and dropped it down to the timeline section. You can also drag and drop things to the timeline section directly from where your media sits. And every time that I drag and drop a new piece of information down to the timeline, I make sure that my transitions seem seamless. That way you can watch your video all the way through after you're done editing the whole thing, but you pretty much know that everything that you have edited is a seamless transition. So, as we are just showing you a very quick sped up version of me editing this video, you can see it can get very tedious after a while. You have to just make sure that you're going in and everything looks correct. There aren't any very sharp edits or weird entrances and exits. So for this particular video, I needed to show you which eyeshadows I was using out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. So for a lot of these videos where I use this, I go to Google and I type in the name of the palette that I want to use. I find the best picture on there and then save it. That way the people viewing my video can see what kind of color I'm using on my eyes without me having to hold up the pan each time. I also go find a fun dot or star or heart just to put over the particular shade of eyeshadow that I'm using out of the palette. And again, you can get all of that off Google. And then once I have those downloaded, I go and find them in my finder and drag and drop them down. All right, and then you need to find where you want to put those media bits that you just downloaded. And then you can go in and size them down to however 
large or small that you want the objects to be. And again, this takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience. So whenever I have media like this, and I know I'm gonna be using it a couple times, instead of dragging and dropping it down, I copy and paste it so that way all of my sizes are the same. You can tell that <laughs> this process takes a while and whenever you have little bitty pieces, it gets hard to move them all without an issue. <laughs> And then if you want to zoom in and zoom out on certain aspects of your timeline, you can click the minus button to zoom out and the plus button to zoom in. That way it's an easy in and out transition and you don't have to like keep scrolling, 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 scrolling to find the place that you need. You'll see I do that a lot on the timeline as we move forward. All right, and then in a video, you always want to have an intro and you always want to have an outro. So that just means that you want to welcome the people in, um, welcome them to your video. You might want to say, hey, please subscribe to my channel. You want to have some sort of outro and fun cinematic shots, especially if you're doing beauty, just to show off what you've been working on the whole time, just to show the people that that is the product that you are giving them to try. So for audio, I probably do my audio a little differently than other people, but I drag and drop the same song over and over and over again um, down the length of my video. And then I use the cutter tool right here on my toolbar and I cut the pieces that I don't want to be the same volume, if that makes sense. So right now I'm selecting all the pieces of music that I want to be underneath my talking. Um, so I normally do either negative 25 or negative 30. I want to make sure that I can hear myself, but I also want to make sure that the music isn't overbearing. So this video I went to negative 30. So if you want to find your effects, you can either go to window effects or it might be open over here where your media browser is. So I use constant gain as an effect to help my music slide in and out seamlessly without a crazy harsh transition. And that is a very, very helpful effect that you can use, especially when you're having music playing and you want it to get louder and softer. Constant gain, it will be your best friend. So after you're done, you wanna hit Control S, which is save. Control M helps you start to render and export the video. So this little window will pop up. I use all of these presets in my video to make my videos look nice, crisp, light, and have really good quality to them. So I go ahead and hit Q. And whenever you hit Q out of that window, the media encoder pops up. So this media encoder is just another part of the Adobe Suite, and this actually is the program that exports your videos. And then you just hit the play button. All right, and then that will render our video and we are done. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that it's helped you just a little bit to see a little quick version of how I edit my videos. Again, make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is a full month series of the Season of Wonder and I will see you guys tomorrow.